What you doing, Mama? What you doing, Mama? He's a pretty baby. Winnie is. Winnie is sweet, Mama. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? So the hearing is finally over guys it was a whole day my stomach hurt um, I hate that these senators these Republican senators use that one lady that lawyer prosecutor or whatever to question um, dr. Blasey Ford because they didn't want to look bad but the minute they started to so-called question the judge they did the questioning themselves because they didn't really question him. They just kind of kissed his butt and kept it moving. So you can already see who all is gonna vote for him. We are, guys, I don't know if we're gonna make this because we really need Flake and the two women, the two uh, female senators, Collins and Mur Murkarski. I can't say her name, Murkarski. We really need for them to come on our side and we need for these red state Democrats to not break rank. They always do that to us. These Democrats that are in the red states, they break rank with us and they don't, um, they don't vote the way that we need for the Democrats to vote. Um, I liked when Cory Booker questioned him. I like when Kamala Harris questioned him. I like when, who was the other one? Dur Durbin, I think. I'm going to say their names wrong, but there were quite a few. One of them that had an exchange going with him, I, I was yelling, you can't handle the truth, because they kept asking what the truth was. Um, my fear is that they might still vote him in. They have the numbers on that these, unless these people break rank. So we cannot let up on the prayers we have to continue praying all right joe made some stew chicken today i think i'm gonna eat some of that in a little while we did rice and beans twice for the show this one is the one on the stove top so the rice and beans whisperer joe did this um he did some fried plantain i'm really not feeling the fried foods ever since i got off of fried foods because of the gallbladder i don't have like a taste for it but I'm gonna save up my taste for panadis and salbutes now those have to be fried right but like fried chicken fried plantain I'm not really feeling it so we did a second video this is rice and beans in the rice cooker because yes you can cook rice and beans in the rice cooker and it's way 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 easier oh my goodness oh I know what it is Joe I remember what it is that I forgot just now I have to make some rice for Jory Jory messed up his brown rice guys he uh, didn't know that you have to put more water when you're doing brown rice and so his brown rice was not cooked so i'm gonna open my big mouth and told him that i would cook some brown rice for him let me try my pot oh lord oh lord oh. i'm gonna find a pot and cook my son some rice because i promised him i was gonna make some rice for him so yeah he, he didn't know that you have to have, um, add double the water when you're cooking brown rice, the way rice then on. No, they know that me move it now. And then I made it rice, they should cook this too. So you guys know how I cook rice, right? I just dash it in here, wash it. I measure with my fingertips. My stomach has been tied up in knots since yesterday with those herrings. And then today with this voting thing, I've, I went live a couple of times just asking you guys to pray with me. I'm so glad that you guys came on and prayed with me. Now we have this delay for a week. I have confidence in the federal government that they're going to be able to investigate this and find out who was telling the truth and who was telling a lie. At the very least, if this um, Dr. Ford was lying, they already saw what they need to see about this man. This man went on like a crazy banshee, the way he was crying and screaming and throwing a temper tantrum because he wasn't getting his way. Oh my goodness, that's what they want on the Supreme Court? I thought that the Supreme Court had to have dignity and stuff like that. Uh, the preachers like to say that God will show you how he feels about a land or a country by who he sets in leadership in that country. Well, I don't believe he set Trump in. I believe uh, Trump stole his way, cheated his way, and bullied his way onto this position that he has. But I believe because we pray, 
they say one voice that Billy Gilman song one voice was heard all right so we pray and God says okay remember in the Bible I think it was Abraham when he went and he said what if there's like 20 good men in the city will you still uh, destroy that city God and God's like no if there's 20 I won't destroy it what if there's 10 what if there's five what if there's one good man in that land will you still destroy that land and he says no if there's one good man I will not destroy that land so I feel like we right here the 14 to 18 people that come in alive we were that one good person that God is listening to and those women who went in the elevator after Jeff Flake saying you know don't put him in because we're victims of um, assault and um, the other guy, Chris Coons, the Democrat, that's Jeff, Jeff Flake's friend that, you know, talked to him and counseled him. And he went in there and he made this demand. And now they're doing this week. That's all we need is this week. The federal government, they know what they're doing. Let me tell you, don't lie to the feds. Don't never lie to the feds, okay? I know I just did a double negative right there, so that made it positive. But let me tell you why they have the resources and the training to know who is lying and one little lie it will make them just know that maybe this right over here is a lie so all these lies this idiot told yesterday when he was on the oath about i didn't drink much i didn't even go to no parties i was a koi boy i just went to church i just read my bible read my catechism all the lies that he told yesterday is going to lead to the big truth of what he's about okay i really do personally feel this is me barbara personally feel this that he is, an, he, I feel like he's an abuser, like abuse his wife, that type of way, I feel like he does. Uh, I'm talking about um, physical abuse, you know, punching or whatever. So, but anyways, um, this has been a crazy week for me because when Facebook tapped me to be a creator last week, Wednesday, so it's been past a week already, I've been cranking out videos since then. I don't want to have anything old there. The only old thing is going to be the Sherry Shepard visit, the mayor's visit, and maybe my visit to Utah and our visit to Belize in 2013. Everything else I want to have new because um, I just feel like God did this. God gave me new all the way around. He gave me a new book and he gave me a new platform to put new shows. And that's why I don't want to bring no... What, what did the Bible say? You can't put new wine into old wine skins? Mm-hmm. That's what the Lord told Barbara. No new wine in old wine skins. All right? It's going to be all new. You guys keep sharing the Facebook for me. It's called The Bear Pantry Show, but in the address bar, it says Facebook that facebook.com forward slash bear pantry show the dog got dropped off and i think i did that like years ago when facebook gave me a url my own personal url i think i just dropped off the dog so just uh look it up through your facebook the bear pantry show or bear pantry show and find my page just the one when i'm holding a big bowl of salad i do have um what do you call it a uh, a group i do have a, a, a group page that's called friends of the bear pantry show in that group I want you to post your videos and your pictures of the things that I do that you come back and recreate. Even if you've tweaked it a little, post the picture in there, post the video in there, okay? And tell me how you did it, how you made it better, how you how you made it spicier, or, you know, how you found a short a shortcut to do it. Because I, I really look for stuff like that. I don't like when people come at me at YouTube and go, oh, let me teach you a, um, a, a few tips about blah, blah. That's not the way to approach me. But if you come and say, hey, Barbara, when I was doing the tamales, I found a shortcut, blah, blah, let me show you how to, yes, I'm there for it. Like when this one girl told me to sift um, the uh, baking cocoa into the cake pan instead of flour when you're doing chocolate cake because it doesn't make all that white flour come on the cake, I live by that. And I learned that from somebody else. When somebody came and said, take the cupcake tins and push the pie dough into the next tin to make the meat pie instead of put individual thing, I do that now. So I learn a lot from you guys, but there's a, there's a way to approach people when you want to teach them something new right so um, this weekend I'm excited because there's so much to do I think I'm gonna to go to this thing tomorrow that Charles wanted Jada to sing for he didn't contact me this week and I kind of play hide and go seek because Jada and Colin both have to work tomorrow so I don't know that they can do it but I really feel like it's something they should do so as soon as Jada comes in I'm gonna tell her hey Jade I really feel like you should look into this see if Colin can't change the schedule or whatever. I don't know that they, they can change it this late. Matter of fact, let me call her see where she at right now. And, um, oh, I, I bought some new headphones because the other headphones went out and I bought a selfie stick. Y'all have to see this selfie stick. Let me, let me, Charles just texted me the information. He really wants her to go sing for this because this lady has a lot of contact, especially with brand new artists and stuff like that. And a lot of gigs, I'm, I'm looking. What about today? Okay, um, Charles sent me the information about the gig tomorrow. 
and I know that you and Colin both have to work but I still told him to send it because he says that this lady really like does a lot of things. Today finds us at the outdoor swamp meet because it is a Friday. It's not very crowded today in the way of vendors but on the weekends, Saturday and Sundays, it is very crowded. So what am I looking for? A selfie stick so I can do Facebook lives. The selfie stick that I have right now only uh, allows me to use the phone in a landscape mode but for Facebook and Instagram I need for it to be profile. I say yes she is. What do you need to put in your hearing aids man? None for me? <laughs> Where you get that pretty shirt from? <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to sew it, but it's not coming out so good. I have all this piece. I like how low the neck is, and I like the shape of this. You still, but I still don't even know how to hem this, huh? You still got to sew on the arm. It's, it's hard. I sewed it already, but it... No, oh, my bra dropped. Sorry. No, I sewed it, but it broke. I have to go sew that again. Basically. Anyway. Well, I'll do that again, but see, even when you sew it, like this is short from here to here. Yeah. And this is a little bit longer, but still too short. I, I don't have that part all down pat. But hey. Well, overall, it looks pretty good. Well, that's what you get when you're not following the pattern of your little teacher from YouTube. I just try to follow another pattern I had from a shirt. I trying, guys. I trying. So, this vlog covers three days, but it wasn't a whole lot to show because since last, what, Wednesday I got the invite, right, Joe? So, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, oh my God. Over a week, I've just been pumping out videos for Facebook. So, that's why I didn't even leave the house. We just, right, Joe? We just stayed in here and, and uh -huh. um, recorded videos, and, and then I sat and edited and published. It'll slow down in a little bit, but I want to get that um, page cluttered, like I told you guys. So um, that's why we don't have uh, too much to show. Plus, we were tied up for 11 hours yesterday with that hearing. There was nothing to record when I hear what's going on. <laughs> Joe, you see what happened, right? That the FBI is stepping in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, I know Trump likes said the FBI this and the FBI that, but I have confidence in them. And the Bible said I have no confidence in no man. But still, I, I know that they're trained in what they do. Um, everybody keeps saying, well, everybody, some people I know, is like, oh, if John McCain was alive, you know, he would have stood up, you know, like Jeff Flake. What do you watch? My shirt? My <laughs> tear? Stood up. No. They, they forget what John, John McCain was about. I told you guys all the time that I really respect that he went through a lot for the country and he was tortured and yada yada. I respect that. But John McCain was the one that said if Hillary wins, them, meaning the Republicans, would hold open the seat forever, for four years, until she was out again. John McCain said that. I remember these things, okay? So John McCain wouldn't have made it any better. But thank God, Jeff Flake, them, I think those two ladies that accosted him, well, well they didn't really accost him, but they spoke with him in that um elevator. spoke passionately with him in that elevator i think he got to him because he was already on the fence and he's probably thinking oh my god i'm going to retire i don't want people to meet me in the street like this and throw their pee or their crap at me for the rest of my life you know when i could just easily go in there and say just investigate this and pray to god they don't find nothing because he's still a good republican soldier and he's praying that they'll put somebody on the supreme court that's you know conservative so I pray to God this man goes down in flame and not only does he not get on the Supreme Court but that he loses his judgeship, his federal judgeship and his law license and everything else because everybody can see he's a pissing down drunk. Every, even the wife know it. The wife looked at him kind of like, oh my God, nobody else was supposed to know that you were a drunk. Only I was supposed to know that. No, the whole world knows this. <laughs> Anyways, guys, ta -ta. I'm going to fix my shirt and I'm going to edit another video for tomorrow, okay? I love you all for watching. Thumbs up. All that good stuff. Bye. Bye. I'm going to get better. I'm going to get better. Like, I'm going to put up a vlog like every two days now instead of every three days. <sighs> what he needs to do Yeah, daddy. You know, he's kimono. You're tired, papa?